Hey guys, um, I have another uh, festive holiday tag for you guys today. This one is the literary festive tag, and this was created by Renee over at Nehomas 2. I will link her channel down below, um, and I also watched Priscilla's video from last year, um, Priscilla over at The Readables, and so I will also link her channel down below. Um, and I was surprised that I didn't do this last year because I did the Winter Wonderland one, so I was surprised that I didn't stumble across this one last year, but still, more, more fun tags this year. So, okay, the first one is five books on your Christmas wish list, and I am cheating a little bit with this because all five of these books were on my Christmas wish list until I found out that I could get them all from my library, um one or two of them haven't actually come out yet, but, um, I, like, for one of them, I'm, like, number one in the queue for my library, and I was so excited. Um, but yeah, so now they are not on my Christmas list, because I'm getting them for free, uh, but yes, they are four by Veronica Roth. Um, I, oh, I'm very sorry for that loud noise, um, there's construction going on, um, but yes, four, I, uh, I didn't read, I didn't finish Allegiant, um, I put that in the donation box to go to the Salvation Army because I just, I couldn't. Every time I thought about picking it back up, I was like, no, it was too boring. Um, and again, like, my thing about it is that I really liked, um, Tobias's point of view. I thought that that was a great part of the book. I just thought that the reason for, uh, people being divergent was kind of a cop-out. Like, I was like, uh, I mean, it, it seemed to me like Veronica Roth just kind of gave up at the end, and I was like, uh, nah. So, yeah, I can't finish it, but I do really want to read four because all of those are prequel stories, and they are also from, again, like, four's point of view. So, yes, I want to read that one, and then, um, Shadow Cabinet by Maureen Johnson is the third one in the Shades of London series, and that's the one that I'm, like, first in line for at my library, so I'm so excited. That comes out February 5th, um, and I'm so glad that it's finally here because the cliffhanger at the end of Madness Underneath was ridiculous. Um, <laughs> it was insane. And then also All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Um, that I think I'm also reading in February because, uh, I am, like, way down in the whole list. I think at this point I'm probably, like, 40-something. I was 80-something, so I've gone down a lot. Um, and then The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton and, um, The Dead in Their Vaulted Arches by Alan Bradley, which is the most recent, uh, book in the Flavia Deleuze series, so I'm planning on reading that next year once I get caught up with the rest of the books. So, yeah kind of cheating a little bit based on the fact that I'm not actually, I'm, they're not actually on my wish list, but they were on my wish list, so yeah. Uh, two, what book would you like to read during the holiday season? Um, this year I would really like to read Hogfather by Terry Pratchett because I just saw the show and it was amazing. I love Michelle Dockery. Um, and yeah, it was just great. So I really want to read the book. And also I want to reread Let It Snow if I can possibly fit that in because I've reread it, um, uh, I think I reread it last year and I read it for the first time the previous year and I just really liked, uh, I, I just, I love it both times. It just left me with warm fuzzies. Um, question three, what were your favorite children, or what was your favorite children's book? I mean, not children's book, Christmas book as a child. Um, and for me, it was a collection. It was the American Girl Christmas books, um, and I still try to read a few of those every year on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Um, for which literary character do you think would give the best gifts? Um, this was a tie. Um, I feel like Scrooge post-Dream, uh, we, we already see from, like, the post-Dream Scrooge that he actually did give amazing gifts to the Pr Pratchett's? <laughs> Terry Pratchett. I was just talking about him. Um, no, but to the Cratchits. Um, because he sent them a turkey, he brought, I, th I think there's one adaptation where he brings a bunch of toys, um, to the Cratchit children. Um, so yeah, I feel like Scrooge post-Dream 
would just give amazing gifts. Um, and also the other two that I thought of were George Knightley from Emma and Jamie Fraser from Outlander. Specifically, I think they would give amazing gifts to their significant others because um, they're just both very um, silently observant and they both love and care about their significant others so much that I feel like they would definitely give them great gifts. And I think we even, in Outlander, there is one point where Jamie does give two really beautiful gifts. And I'm not going to tell you what they are in case you haven't seen it. I mean, in case you haven't read it. But just amazing. Um, okay, five is give three characters gifts. Um, the first one that I picked is, or like, what was the question? Oh, if you could give three characters gifts what would they be and why? Or who would you give them to? What would they be and then why? Um, and first I picked Nicholas Nickleby and family and I would give them basically anything I could spare. I would give them food, I would give them clothes, I would give them any money I could spare. I would just ask to be their friend because I think that they are, like that whole family is just amazing and what they went through was just terrible, and I would also give uh, Ralph Nickleby a nice kick in the shins. Um, yeah, so. And then uh, two is... Hang on, I lost my place. Um, oh no! Oh, Luna from Harry Potter. Luna Lovegood. I would give her a bunch of extra shoes. Um, and I would tell them... I would tell her... I would either, like, hide them in my room and then give them to her as they were needed, but, um, in the fifth, at least in the fifth movie, I'm not sure if this happened in the fifth book or not, but in the fifth movie, um, people keep stealing her stuff, and at one point, um, it's nearly Christmas, and she's standing in the forest barefoot because people have stolen her shoes, and I'm like, you guys are rude, um, but, yeah, so I would hide extra pairs of shoes in my room to give her when people steal her shoes and if they were in my room people couldn't get them because I I would fight people on that I would be like uh-uh no um and then the last one is I don't actually know if this is possible but I would give George the Elder Wand <laughs> to heal Fred <laughs> and then tell him to break it um and yeah, I don't, again, I don't know if that would actually be possible, but, yep, that's what I would do. And then, six, who would you give Cole to? This is very easy. Captain Blackjack Randall. Um, he is the most despicable character that I have ever read in all of literature, and he is going to the bottom level of hell. Um, as a literary character, he's just... Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so I would give him coal. I would hand him the coal, and then I would shove him off a cliff. That's that's what I would do. Um, and it's okay, because he's fiction. Seven, um, who, what Scrooge-like character would be a downer at the holidays? Um, she's not necessarily Scrooge-like, but she is very mopey. Um, Moaning Myrtle from Harry Potter, because, yeah. Girl, girl needs to smile every once in a while, but I mean, I know why she doesn't, because she's a ghost and she died very young, so I understand why she hates her afterlife, but yeah. Um, and then last, invite five characters and authors for a party, for a holiday party. I picked George Knightley, Jamie Fraser, Eleanor Dashwood, um, oh, George is from, again, he's from Emma. Jamie is from Outlander, Eleanor Dashwood's from Sense and Sensibility, and then uh, Luna Lovegood and Ginny Weasley from Harry Potter. And the authors I would invite are Jane Austen, uh, William Shakespeare, Neil Gaiman, Agatha Christie, and either E.M. Forrester or Diana Gabaldon. I can't decide. So, yeah, um, them, because I just... Those are a lot of authors that are very close to my heart, so yes. Okay, so that is the end of the literary festive tag. Um, again, uh, Renee over at Name of Homeless 2 created this, 
and um, I also watched Priscilla's video over at Pris uh, over at the Readables. So I will link both their channels down below, and feel free to do this one. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.